everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun video for you guys. It's called YouTube slash vlogs made me buy it. I literally have a humongous pile of products right here, like literally. I don't think I see all those products right there. Basically, I have a crap ton of products in this video because I love blogs, I love YouTube. It's my favorite, like, relaxing and winding activity. It's my favorite activity to kind of stay up to date on trends and new products that are coming out, as well as bargains. So, I buy a lot of stuff because I've heard about it on YouTube or Instagram or blogs, and it's just a great way to um, hear about what's out there and hear about things you might not normally spend the time to um, stop and watch commercials or notice, like, the in-store displays. I usually just walk right past all that. It doesn't really excite me too much. I'd rather hear um, somebody I trust online and hear their kind of opinion on a product and that's what really motivates me to buy something. I don't know about you guys, but I'm sure you kind of feel the same way. So anyways, I'm going to hop right in. I'm going to first talk about nail products because there are a lot and I think I might just list the products um, quickly and put them in, in the description box so I don't spend all day describing the colors and the textures and that kind of thing. So first up, CND Solar Oil for your cuticles and nails. Really great stuff. Heard about this through so many YouTubers, I can't even name a single one. Uh, probably by Makeup by Tiffany D, but it's just really awesome. It smells like sweet almond oil and it's really great and nourishing for your nails. The top coat that I've discovered through YouTube is Out the Door. I heard about this through, well not YouTube actually, it was through my friend Jennifer of JustAdGlam.com. She's a San Francisco style blogger and she's a good friend of mine. So. She recommended Out the Door, but I also love um, Sesh Beat Top Coat, but she told me this one was one of her favorites, so I tried it, and I think I actually like it better than Sesh Beat because it's a little bit cheaper. So yeah, love this product. Definitely discovered it through blogs. Okay, some hot pink nail polishes. Sinful Colors 24-7. OMG, I heard about this through Michelle1218 who did a fantastic, amazing, really, really in-depth dupe video for Essie's Pink Parka and this was definitely the winner and it's only $1.99 at Walgreens. Love this color. She's a great YouTuber. All credit to her for this one. I also love Zoya's Alley. This was a color, I'm not sure who I heard about it through, but love it for a sight when it came to this color. It's a vibrant neon. It's not as like candy pastel as the 24-7 by Sinful Colors. This is a little more, I don't know, grown up neon. Really great color, love it, and I think that might have been my first Zoya polish. A couple Essie shades. Uh, what would be this video without Essie? Uh, first we'll start with what's on my nails right now. Essie's Sand Tropez. This is a beautiful grayish nude color. So grayish, I said that um, purposely, between gray and beige. It's a great color. I think I heard about this first through I don't know, Amerique's maybe on YouTube, but everybody loves this color it seems. It's very, very popular. And also Essie's Fiji. So many people raved about this color and I held back on buying this product, but I got it last summer, fell in love with it, did like literally eight consecutive manicures with this color alone, which literally that never happens, but love this color. It's a cool, it's a nice uh, whitish baby pink, really pops in her nails and is very feminine. And then lastly for nails, Sally Hansen's Pacific Blue, perhaps the number one most raved, most hyped up uh, drugstore nail polish ever. I don't know. I mean, gosh, this color is a beautiful cornflower blue, pops off your nails, and really grabs a lot of attention. Lip products. I have a lot of lip products. I have a layer of Chanel's Rouge Coco Shine in Boy. Absolutely love this color. It, you know, it was another one of those things I held off on buying because there was so much hype. Heard about it through Emily of Lisette's Beauty and Fleur of Fleur de Force and countless others. Love the shade. It's a My Lips But Better nude. It's perfect for every day. It's really comfortable to wear and it just is so luxurious and nice. On top of that, I have on the NYX Mega Shine Lip Glosses, and this shade is beige. I actually bought this, I would say, very, very, like, close to the beginning of the hype on this product. I mean, this is the, I feel like this is the old packaging, old formula. It definitely smells like, I don't know, cherry cough syrup. Not too fond of the scent, and honestly, I'm somebody who hates lip gloss, but I can tolerate this one. It's a little bit, um, I don't want to say greasy, it's very apparent it's on your lips. And that leads me into my next lip gloss, is the NYX Butter Gloss. And again, I hate lip gloss. I hate it. I hate lip gloss because I have really fine hair, and the wind tends to blow my hair into my lips, and I hate that feeling. Um, but I can tolerate these two. These ones smell, the Butter Glosses smell much better than the Mega Shines. These smell uh, more like, I don't know, buttercream frosting, but 
This shade is uh, beige, like I said, it's actually really a pink. And this shade is Maple Blondie. So I love these. Totally lots of hype. I'm not sure. Everybody talks about these, and it was more like a personal preference when I got to the store in terms of the shade. But um, I know Shanxo has worn this in videos. A really great color, Maple Blondie. Okay, let's talk about a coral lipstick. I only own one coral lipstick, and it's this one. It's about two or three years old, so I should honestly throw it out sometime soon, but who cares? It is the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in Coral Crush. It's beautiful. I love it. It really pops off my skin and accentuates my tan. This lipstick was inspired by Emily Noel 83. It's Max Craving. It's a beautiful amplified lipstick. It's a beautiful, I don't know, burgundy brick red color. Love it. Um, it's my go-to dark lip for fall that's easy to wear, easy to apply, and um, yeah, I really like that. YouTube also made me buy the, what are these called, the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. The lip stains that Revlon previously had with like that little marker tip, I heard terrible reviews on those. So when these came out, I was kind of skeptical, but I kept hearing amazing colors, amazing comfortability, great like minty smell, and I fell in love. I actually have three colors of this. One's at the office. Uh, this is my favorite. It's my second or third tube of it. This is in Cherish. This is in Romantic. And at the office, I think I have Smitten, I believe. Um, it's a bright fuchsia magenta. It's much more bright than this. But yeah, love these. I go to them every day. I wear this one almost every day. It's always in my handbag. And this is definitely my first layer of my classic red lip. One more lip color, you guys. The Revlon, what are these called? Color Burst Lipsticks. And this one is in Soft Nude. This one's totally on its last leg. I mean, it's melted a little bit. It's kind of been like a little bit mangled, but this is a great nude. Uh, if you want to kind of like accentuate a smoky eye and just kind of nude out your lips and mute them, this is a great nude. It's really um, a great color, comfortable to wear. It doesn't smell like granny lipstick. I, I just really like this one. You can see it right there on my hand. Maybe a great nude, not too, um, I don't know, I'll call it maybe a peachy nude. So I would say this is about the extent of the nudes that I can pull off. Uh, without a gloss or some other kind of color in the mix, but I really love this one, and you can find it at the drugstore. So that's it for the lip and nail edition of YouTube Made Me Buy It. My camera battery is about to die, so I'm going to save the um, rest of my eye products and face products I have set aside for part two, so look out for that video coming soon. I should have it up, I don't know, in a couple weeks or so. So please thumbs up the video if you liked it and leave a comment letting me know um, if you've tried any of these products or if YouTube made you buy something in particular. I would love to hear about it and we can have a little discussion in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in my next video.